Elsewhere in the world, there have been an estimated 500 miles of non-biodegradable fishing nets cut loose from fishing vessels each year, each year, 500 miles each year for the past 25 years, catching countless numbers of unsuspecting sea life. And you know, the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch is aptly named because that's exactly what they're doing. They're watching all this happen while promoting it to be continued with trawling, per seeing, longline fishing methods. Each year, more than 300,000 whales, dolphins, and porpoises are killed in fishing gear. And so it is with fishing under the sustainable label. Target fish are becoming extinct. We move on to the next fish in line, creating cereal depletion. And then other sea life up and down the food web are becoming extinct, all part of the collateral damage that begins with us. Well, coral reef systems around the world are in serious trouble. The Great Barrier Reef has lost more than half of its coral cover since 1985. Now, most would think it's due to pollution and climate change. But the primary cause of coral reef death throughout the entire Caribbean region, anyway, is not, is not pollution. It's not from climate change. It's from overfishing. An example in the other direction can be found in the Queens Islands off the southern coast of Cuba, where they haven't allowed any commercial fishing. Their coral reef ecosystems today look the same as they have for the past thousands of years. One of the most important factors in balancing coral reef systems are predatory fish, apex feeders like sharks. But we're killing them too, quite a few of them. One third of all shark species are nearing extinction. We're killing nearly 100 million sharks per year. Why? Well, 40 million sharks had their fins cut off like this. And then, they're, and then they're thrown overboard to die so we can eat shark fin soup. And it's terrible to see this, isn't it? And I know what you're thinking. You're, uh, you're saying to yourselves, I don't eat shark fin soup. Not here at Villanova, no, not me. And furthermore, it's banned in eight states in our country and counting. Well, isn't that great? But again, 98% of us do eat fish. And by eating fish, any type of fish, we're doing this to 60 million sharks that are caught each year and killed in fishing nets and lines as bykill. So go ahead and ban shark fin soup all you want, but why would you stop there? If you're truly concerned about sharks, you should ban fishing. Well, killing krill has now become a very large business. But you don't need to eat krill to get your omega-3s, unless, unless you listen to Dr. Oz, I guess. Uh, oh. However, krill is fundamental to the survival of almost every animal species in and around the Antarctic, and krill numbers have dropped by 78% since 1980. A large pod of pilot whales, 22 of them, beached themselves in the Florida Keys a few months back. The cause of death was li likely malnutrition since they found they had no food in their stomachs. These whale eat mackerel, herring, and lots of squid, all of which we fished to an overexploited state. There's hardly any left. This is a perfect example of the cascading effect that we have on other sea life as we continue to eat sea animals, taking away the food supply from other species that actually do need to eat squid. Well, here's the point regarding our oceans. It's no longer a problem of overfishing. That was a term that could be used fairly accurately back in the mid-1800s. Today, it's about fishing. 